imagine a bunch of neurons firing in some pattern. Now along comes a smaller group of neurons that are a little better connected to one another, and they say, we can represent this pattern a little more efficiently, and so they do. And let's imagine this happens for every sense that you have, seeing, hearing, touching, and so on. So in this example, I've only depicted three different senses. This sort of thing happens all the time in your brain for efficiency. So smaller and smaller groups of neurons summarize what other neurons are doing. Eventually, a few big honking neurons represent all of these other summaries together at the front of the brain. They summarize actually an entire cascade. So you've got this pattern of neurons and smaller neurons firing and then some other neurons summarize that pattern and then some other neurons actually summarize that pattern and so on and so forth. Fewer neurons being used each time. This is actually how the brain works and we call this learning. When the brain predicts the cascade is actually playing out in reverse, the biggest best connected neurons launch predictions each of which has a cascade into finer and finer and finer predictions as groups of smaller and smaller and smaller neurons all along the way um, fire in a different pattern until the cascade reaches the sensory and motor regions of your cortex, which actually have the smallest neurons of all. So a simulation is one big cascade of predictions. As it turns out, everything you see, hear, taste, and feel comes from these massive cascades of predictions. Your brain is launching thousands of these cascades of simulation in every moment, and some of them create emotions.